Welcome back for another Super Magnet Man video. This time we're going to be doing a teaching magnet video where we go through some of the things that we teach in our classes and that we like for our customers to know about magnets. And everything about magnets starts with the very basics. I've taught a lot of classes in elementary school and the first question that the kids like to ask is what is the world's biggest magnet? The world's biggest magnet is the Earth itself. And the reason we know this is because of how the lines of magnetism look. NASA has got some photographs that you can look at online, and this is something that they've been monitoring for many years. And the way that the Earth's magnetic field looks is it goes around like this. It comes out of the North Pole and the South Pole. That's the top of the Earth and the bottom of the Earth. And the magnetic North Pole, we see the lines of flux come out and go around. Magnetism goes through anything. Magnetism goes through mountains, it goes through buildings, it goes through glass, it goes through the oceans. Magnetism goes through anything. So the magnetism of the earth goes around the earth so that anywhere that we are on the earth, we can detect the magnetic field. Now, well, the reason the lines do this is because the North Pole is always trying to find the South Pole. So when we look at how magnets are set up, we have a North Pole and a South Pole. You're going to hear us use that a lot when we talk about magnets because a couple of things really special happen. If I have a North Pole to a South Pole, they attract. They like to stick together. If I have a magnet where I have a North Pole against a North Pole, these repel. That means they push away. I wanted a way to make this easier for people to understand, so we're going to take a look at these markers. These are just regular dry erase markers. And what we notice with our dry erase markers is they stick together in only one direction. If I turn it around like this, it doesn't stick together it sticks together like this. And if I put another one on the end, it sticks. And if I put another one on this end, it just keeps on sticking. This is what the iron powder does. We're going to take a minute now and show you the magnet teacher board. This is the board we use to help kids understand magnetism. But guess what? Everybody enjoys working with this because it helps you see some interesting things. The actual board is not labeled. When we look at this board, you'll see that we have a south pole on top of the star magnet and we have a north pole on top of the star magnet. This ring magnet is south pole facing in the same direction. We have a south pole and a south pole pointing up on these two rectangles. The reason we oriented them this way is because we'll show you in just a minute with this iron powder. Some of these are going to build bridges and some of these are not going to stick together. In the middle, I've got disc magnets with a south, north, south. Those attract each other. Then we've got a north and a south on our triangle magnets. We have two heart magnets. Both of those have the south pole facing up. On these rectangles on the end, they go north, south, north, south, south, north. So you can see we have two that attract and two that repel. Iron powder is a little different than iron filings. Iron filings are fairly large and coarse, but we have found that iron powder that is very, very fine, almost dust-like iron powder, helps us to see magnetism better. So what we're going to do is sprinkle it on top of the board, and you can see that since this is a north and a south, this is what I was talking about. It builds a bridge. The iron particles do just like the dry erase markers. They stick one end to the other, and they go all the way across and bridge this gap. If I take these two rectangle magnets that are magnetized like this, you start to see a clear line in the middle right across here where they are running into each other and they're not sticking because they realize there is a south and a south pointing up. I go to these two disc magnets and you see how quickly they build a bridge. I go over on this end and you can see this north and south with the rectangle build a bridge. But you notice these two that are south facing each other do not build a bridge. You see how open this is in between. Now this allows us to do some fun things with this board. It's really cool to see what 
things look like with each of the different designed magnets. So what we want to do is now show you a little bit of the fun part. Every time someone works with this, they get iron powder in their fingertips. So what we do is use this magnet as our magnet vacuum cleaner, and it just vacuums the iron right out of your fingerprints. You're able to just pull it right out without having to run and wash your hands. Also, it's pretty cool to get it off of the board this way. You can hold it near and you will see that this magnet outside is much stronger. And so it pulls the iron powder off and all we have to do is pinch it and put it back in our little dish. So we can just keep sweeping across and get it all off. Or as many kids like to do, they just take it and slide it off with their hands. Then they use the magnet vacuum cleaner and sweep it all up like this. So we're able to go through and pinch it off. This allows many students to use the iron powder over and over and the board. I've got some of these boards that have been used for over 10 years in my classes and I may do 20 classes a year with one set of boards. So that tells you these are very well designed. They last a long time. To help you understand a little bit better, I came up with a way several years ago of looking at magnetism in 3D. Instead of just putting the powder there, I was like, okay, it only shows me what the magnetism looks like while I'm looking at it. As soon as I move it, it changes. How can I freeze it? So I found this clear silicon rubber compound, and I'm able to pour that with iron powder in it. I put a large magnet on both sides. You can tell, since this is attracted to each other, these magnets have a north on one side, a south on the other. It created this very large field, and all the lines build a bridge straight in between. When we look at this one, this one is showing two magnets repelling. You see how the flux starts going towards the center and then turns and makes a right angle as it goes out from the center. On this one, it's coming out. Both of these look like they're going towards each other, but when they run into each other in the middle and realize they're repelling, they turn and go to the sides. We can also look at another one. This one is really cool. This one goes with an electric motor. And we use the magnets that go around and form a circle, and each one is alternating poles. It's got a north, south, north, south, all the way around for 12 poles. And it makes a very cool pattern when you look at this, and we're hoping to give you a good zoomed in shot of this, and you can see that these are arching. You can see the bridges arch like this, indicating where the poles are changing from north to south, north to south. In the middle, you can see where we still have some flux lines where it's reaching that far away from the surface of the magnets. We went to a big extreme and we said, how big of one can we make? So we had large two inch cube magnets and these are repelling. And it's kind of hard to see this one just because it's so large. But all along the side of this cup that we're holding this liquid in, you can see where it's going out in 3D. And you can see in some of these, when you look at it really close, you can see the little fingers of iron powder that are going up and showing you where the lines of magnetism run. So I wanted to help you understand a little bit about how to see magnetism. We have one more fun thing that we use. We call these our bouncy magnets. They're bouncy magnets because we've got them designed so that we have a north pole facing a north pole. Naturally, that puts the south pole over here, so we have a south pole here. These push against each other. These are neodymium magnets. They are very hard to push all the way together. One of the things that I like to do with it is hold this magnet on this end and this magnet on this end and get it started, and we can bounce it back and forth so fast you can't see the magnet. They have rubber stoppers on the end to keep the magnets from coming off. And if it did come off, only a drop of super glue and you're back in business. So this is the bouncy magnets. Also did a little casting to show you what the magnetism looks like around the bouncy magnets. When you look at this, you can see clearly where the lines of magnetism are coming out. This is repelling, just like the other picture we looked at with magnets repelling. You see the repelling lines going around, and then you see the lines where they attract across the magnet from north to south, and then we got a repelling field, and then north to south again. So this helps you to see the magnetism. Well, this part of our video was intended to help you better understand the basics of magnetism. 
And hopefully you understand a little bit better now being able to see how the iron powder works with magnetism. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. At Super Magnet Man, we love to answer your questions about magnets. Thank <laughs> you.